What's up, boys? Welcome to this week's 10 Minute Tuesday. You gotta whistle the S. Tuesday. Tuesday. It's unreal. This 10 Minute Tuesday is brought to you by First Light. And, and also here. the word unreal. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Uh, First Light has a ton of new waterfall products, so check those out at firstlight.com. I promise you're gonna love them as much as Joey and I do. This week, we're gonna do a 10 Minute Tuesday on team calling. And there's a lot of different nuances with that, you know, whether you're a great caller or a beginning caller. Um, and then Joey, why don't you just kind of start out with what, like, what is, what is the biggest thing to you when you're hunting with people that are maybe less experienced as a caller than you? Okay. What are you looking for from them in terms of contribution? Cause there's a lot of guys that can do like some more basic stuff, mm -hmm. you know? So maybe talk like duck first and then we can go into goose duck first. So sure. You, what you need to do with team calling is just assess who is the better caller in the blind. And that person is usually the person who has been hunting the longest as well. So um, they're like in charge of the hunt, essentially. The calling of the hunt, yeah. No, like the hunt, usually. Oh, sure, depending, and yeah. And so um, when I'm out there with less experienced callers than I am, I usually just let them know, follow my lead. And a lot of people don't understand what follow my lead is. Yeah. So you are the duck that is quieter, essentially. And so if I'm duck calling, I'm going, meh, 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 meh. Like, I don't want someone doing that when there's ducks coming in because I have more of a wherewithal than they do of when to do that note. You know what I mean? And so follow the main guy's lead. If he's barking up a storm like crazy, you bark up a storm. If he's getting quiet, you get quiet. Mm hmm essentially yeah. with duck calling. I can't if, remember. Sorry. I can't remember who it was, but somebody said that the easiest way to equate it is they were like, you ever seen choreography on a stage? Like what do the backup dancers do? I was like, Oh, the backup dancers, they just like do whatever the guy that's in front. That's like the best dancer. They kind of do that, but yeah, they follow his lead a little bit less. You know what I mean? That is not the analogy that I would have used, but yeah, yeah. I didn't come up with it. <laughs> I don't focus it on the backup dancers though. Well, yeah, but it made sense. Yeah. Totally. No, whatever makes sense for you. And then, um, no, I, I'd say like the, the biggest thing is follow the leader, dude, and just understand. And then the second thing is rhythm. Like if you are an experienced caller enough to know what ducks sound like and what follows after a hail call or like a bark or a greeting chuckle. So like yeah. if someone is just feed chuckling, right? Like if you don't know how to do a, a good greeting call, maybe maybe chill on that. You know, instead, most people know how to do a quack. Yeah, quack. And so if someone's doing a machine gun feed and you're just going, mark, 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 that sounds so good. Yeah. You're just trying to sound as realistic as possible. <clears throat> Another thing for duck calling as well, for team calling, pull out that damn Drake whistle, dude. For sure. That shit sounds so good and oh, so yeah. realistic. I just recently added the Drake whistle to my lanyard again. Yeah. And I am so excited to pull that out. I'm a Drake whistle connoisseur. I love that shit. Yeah. Throwing a whist a widgeon whistle, depending on where you're at in the country, it just adds it just adds it just to adds it, an element, dude. Yeah. yeah I mean when so you good. when you go, like you said, when you go and you sit and you listen to ducks that are calling on a pond or whatever it is, there is that a hundred percent. There's like a couple ducks that are louder, there's a couple ducks that are quieter, there's a couple ducks that sound like shit. You know, there's there's the Drake in there that's just continuously He's horny. Know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So just, yeah, mixing it all up. Um, another thing I would say too, that is very helpful to understand is don't feel like you have to try to do whatever the lead caller is doing, you know, do what you're comfortable with, do what you're comfortable with, man. And legitimately like you're better off blowing that Drake whistle or literally just quacking than you are trying to in the middle of a great hunt when you're working birds, trying to match the energy or whatever of the guy that is a really experienced caller. You're not going to be able to do it. They're going to get frustrated. You're going to feel like shit. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to get yelled at. For sure. Um, Sometimes. Yeah. And it's very rarely a feeding chuckle is detrimental. And so if you're just... If you just do that in the background, <laughs> sounds so good. Yeah. Or like you said, just quacking. Right. Um, for goose. For sure. For and, goose now. And I would say one other thing I wanted to mention about this be pretty wary of it when you're traveling to other places. If you're hunting with other people in a new location, like let them lead. 
even mm-hmm. if you are an experienced caller, even if you are, you feel really confident on your call, when you get out there on that hunt, just see what they do first, mm-hmm. you know, before you just start blowing how you normally would at home. Because every place, the birds are different. The way they react to calling is different. And you'll go places that somebody will say, like, no, no, we don't do that here. We don't, you don't want to call them like that. So I just, usually have a conversation with, yeah. how are we approaching this hunt? Oh, it's a loaf. They are quiet in here. Don't touch the call. Mm-hmm. You know? It's like, yeah. cool. But we do, but like, uh, there's many times where we were bringing people with us. You know, or somebody is out there that's new or hasn't hunted with the group. They don't have that conversation, maybe. Mm -hmm. So if you are in that position, just like wait, just wait and see what somebody else is that knows that area wants to do, how they're calling first before you just jump in and start doing it. You know, that's a big thing, too. Like when we've gone to the timber, you know, like when they're what they do, what when they want to call. Like when we're with Wade, I'm like, yeah, we'll just Wade is just going to tell us, dictate what he wants to do with these birds. Right. Um, with team calling with geese, uh, again, find what you're comfortable with. If you can do a cluck perfect every single time, cluck it up, baby. Mm-hmm. Cluck it up. Yep. You know, and if you can get fast with a cluck, even better. But it's another conversation of, hey, how are we approaching this hunt? You know, like you, you're talking to the guy who is for sure the guy, you know, yep, the goose yep. caller in the group. And he'll say, we're, we're hunting molts. Just follow our lead. And if he's calling his ass off, you try to call your ass off. But do what you're good at, yeah, which just is cluck the a cluck. Lot. And if you can only moan, you know, it sounds weird if a goose just going, bah, 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 like that. Yeah. So you wait for someone else to do a cluck. So it's cluck, 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 cluck. And yep. you follow yep. their rhythm, and it sounds so damn good, dude. So yeah. good. Yeah, for sure. With geese, it's so much, I think it's more daunting in yeah. a way. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. Because, like, geese are, they just react so much more to a call, you know? And mallards do, and, like, ducks do, for sure. But with goose calling, it is a different thing. And I think a lot of people get really intimidated when they come out. Mm-hmm. So when you're, like, teaching people with lessons, you know, mm-hmm. what are you teaching them, like, the most basic things that are the most important things to learn? And I know you're going to say cluck and moan, mm-hmm. but is there anything that they can do to differentiate once they get those things down if they're still not ready to do, like, some of the more advanced calling? Like, maybe uh, tone, like, varying tone on clucks? Yeah. And- no, I, I work on tone almost immediately. Yeah. Just because I'm sick of hearing people sound like a party <clears throat> horn. And I always ask people, what are you trying to learn? And they say, I just want to become a better goose caller and I'm trying to learn more cadences. And I go, okay, well, let's hear you blow your goose call. And nine times out of 10, the tone is way off. Mm-hmm. And I say, okay, Too high. would you like to sound more like a goose? And everyone says yes. And I go, okay. So then we work on that. And once they've gotten that, now we try to do the notes that they already know how to do. And they instantly revert back to what they did before because they've built up such a bad habit and how they're doing it. And as long as you can sound like a goose and we're hunting together... You're good. Yeah. You are good, man. You don't need to know how to do a double cluck or a quick spit. Like, I can do all that Yeah, shit. or sound exactly like you. Just you know? sound like a freaking goose, <clears throat> and we will be cool. And yeah. so um, once they learn how to do the cluck and the moan with the tone that's needed, then it's getting faster at it. Yeah. And then once you get faster at it, then you're learning how to do double cluck, and then you're learning how to do a hiccup. Yeah. And then you're learning how to do three different styles of clucks. Yeah. I think the biggest thing with this was what you said too, was just like you said, follow the lead, but also pay attention to what the other guy's doing and jump into those spots. That was one thing that helped me a lot feeling like I was contributing on some of the hunts when Mm -hmm. I was starting out was, all right, all I can do is cluck. Like I don't need to, I don't need to be a fast caller. You don't need to be, you don't need to know everything, but we're going to get you there. Yeah, but then you get there. You're going to be lit by the end of this year, bro. Yeah, I'm excited. Guaranteed. Yeah. Your tone's going to be unreal. You're going to be double clucking like a son bitch. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm pumped. I'm pumped too. I'm pumped for sure. So guys, if you appreciated this 10-minute Tuesday on team calling, hopefully it made sense to you. Um, If not, feel free to message us on Instagram. And um, if you have other 10-minute Tuesdays you'd like us to do and anything, if we know what you're talking about, we'll try to do it for you. So thanks again. Thanks, guys.